Good day, everyone. My name is Sue Johnson. I am a retired counselor, did that for many years, and I'm happy to indulge in the creative part of life, <clears throat> encouraging my own creativity. And while I'm on this whole journey, I would like to encourage you to do the same. Um, if you drop by my channel, then welcome. I'm glad to have you here. And maybe if you stick around for a while, you might find something that's of interest to you. So I'm going to be posting various things. Um, my main business in retirement has been soap making. That's on hold right now during pandemic. So I'm doing other things. And besides that, creativity is about indulging in a lot of different areas. And I'm going to be sharing some of those things. Sometimes it's something short. Sometimes it'll be more involved like this project you're about to watch where I revamp this bookcase behind me. It used to be, well it still is an Ikea bookcase, it was all brown, had it for about 30 years and I fixed it up and made it useful for my art room here. So what are the benefits of discovering your creativity? Well, it reduces stress. It helps with anxiety, helps you manage anxiety. It can help with depression by giving you a focus, something other than, you know, thinking about all the symptoms of depression. And I know depression is like, you know, I don't want to go anywhere, I don't want to do anything, but you need to get up and start doing. And uh, I used to always recommend as a counselor, the first thing you do, get up and walk. But if the weather is poor, like our winter months, maybe that's not possible. Indulging in creative aspects does make a difference and does help. It helps people with burnout. One thing I noticed through all my counseling was that there's a pattern. And that's one thing that social work teaches you, that there are patterns in life and we can learn from those patterns. And so the pattern that I noticed in all, addressing all those things, anxiety, fear, depression, burnout, uh, even even for some people, a state of boredom, you know, where do I go with my life? What do I do? The one thing I noticed that helps address that is getting, getting involved, indulging in creative aspects. So you can do, e e even if it's just sitting down with a child or a grandchild and doing a little art project together, getting involved in something creative makes a difference for you and it helps you manage your days. And so this video is going to be my journey in transforming this bookcase using chalk paint. And I'll tell you at the end whether I think that was a good or not so good idea. Bottom line is it's complete, it's white, it matches the decor in my room which is pink and white. and. Uh, if you're thinking about using chalk paint for anything, I've got some tips and ideas that you might benefit from. Do you see this? This is my art room. This is a corner of my art room or one wall of my art room. The room is meant to be something that's inviting. And for the most part, it is inviting, but Lately, I've been getting involved in so many things that it's getting kind of messy looking. Here's some of my projects I'm working, working on there on the floor and I hope to get them completed probably this week. But my main point is this clutter needs to be better organized. Do you see this? This is the bookcase behind my bedroom door. Art room is down the hall. And I got this idea this morning when I woke up. Why don't I get some chalk paint? Because you can use it to paint over any kind of surface and doesn't require a lot of preparation. Why don't I get some chalk paint? and paint my bookcase and move it into my art room where I can use it to store some of my art projects, the ones that are piling up in the corner. This bookcase was really wobbly, so I reinforced the back. And the way I did that was I picked up these wood slats from the dollar store. At the time, I had no idea what I was going to use them for. But as it turns out, 
They're very useful for reinforcing the back of the case. So I attach them using one and a half inch screws. There is a shelf on the case that is already secured in. That's how it, it arrives. And so I screwed the wood slats to the back using that one middle board in the bookcase as my reinforcing place. So now it's very sturdy. I did quite a bit of research before I started this project. Research in the area of using chalk paint. I picked up this bare chalk paint. And what I found out was even though chalk paint, you supposedly don't need a primer, I decided since this is an Ikea bookcase with essentially pressed wood with some kind of veneer finish, I'm going to use the primer. So I picked that up. There were good reviews on both of these paints. Got my roller, got myself all set up and ready to go. I started by painting the top of the bookcase. It didn't have to be pretty, just did it. Then I worked on the inside, doing the sides and then the back of the board. Echo, play some music. Here's Apple Music. It's always useful to have a little music going if you can while you're painting. Sometimes you may find yourself even brushing strokes according to the beat in the music. It can be a lot of fun. So, chalk paint, what do I know? What did I discover? Well, life experience teaches us a lot of things. We can research and read and talk to others, but it's our own experience that's really gonna drive home the lesson. And the lesson for me is that, in retrospect, if I ever did an Ikea bookcase over like this again, I would just use regular paint. Something like with a three in one, a primer and a sealer and everything in one. Using the chalk paint, it took me about three layers plus a couple layers of primer before I got it finished. And even then, the perfection in me says, it's not perfect. There's perfection in me? Sorry about that. I don't really mean that. Anyway, um, it would have been a lot shorter job had I just bought a bare three-in-one paint and put it on. But I have a finished product and it looks good to me and it definitely serves a purpose. I decided to put some uh, shelf paper in just to sort of protect the wood. Probably don't need that, but I have a feeling that white shelves are gonna get a lot of in and out action, things going back and forth on them. And so I just wanted to protect the shelves a little bit. So there you go. In retrospect, I would use chalk paint for things like my decorative ladder so that you can buff it up a bit and be creative with it. But I'm in the beginning stages of learning about chalk paint and the wax to seal it. So I hope you enjoyed that video, that you got something from it. 
Um, if you gain nothing else, I hope you realize that indulging in something creative can make a difference in terms of satisfaction in your life. It can help you develop perseverance, which we all need, a sense of endurance, because sometimes when you're involved in creative projects, they may not always turn out the way you initially hoped or thought they would. But by our patience, we actually gain some possession over our soul, which means that we can give a sense of direction to ourselves and how we respond to life. So if you do find that sometimes you're into a place of discouragement in what you're creating or what you're doing, take a step back for a moment from your project. Just have a breather, go do something else that you know does work. Ah, for me, that's vacuuming the house. I know it works. There's a beginning, there's an end, and there's a job complete. Anyway, whatever your thing is, take a step back and then go back, regroup and go back to your project. And encourage yourself, learn to encourage yourself and indulge and have fun and discover your creative side and all the benefits. Bye for now.